In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to make a donut bun using a bun former. To start off, we're going to pull the hair back into a ponytail. I like my buns to sit on the crown of the hair, so that's where I'll position my ponytail. First, I'm going to use a fair amount of spray gel. If you don't want to use spray gel, you could always use water. But the reason I'm doing the spray gel is to really tame the flyaways. Next, I'm going to use my favorite brush for smoothing the hair to really smooth down this ponytail. This brush I got at the Dollar Tree. It's $1 and you want to look for the one that has the black bristles. So I take my time here really making sure I smooth down every bump. And then I'm going to use my other brush that I use for tangles to brush out the hair. Once I've removed all of the bumps the best I can, I'm going to put in a thick elastic. Now a little tip here, my daughter has really thick hair, so for her hair I always put in two elastics. This way it's going to hold the hair so much better and it'll really hold your style in place. Next, I'm going to comb through the hair. Here, I'm going to add my donut form. Now, these can be purchased at a variety of places. I'll put a link below where I got mine. You want to pick one that is a similar color to your child's hair. So, my daughter is wearing a brown one. So from here, I'm gonna take all the hair, I'm gonna have her look down and try to brush the hair around the donut form, just kind of getting it as evenly in place. Once I have it nice and smooth, I'm going to take a clear elastic and wrap it around the donut form. Then I'm gonna take all of the hair and pull it to the back of the head. Now what I like to do next is brush out the hair and then I'm just going to simply twist the hair around the donut form. So I'm gonna wrap it around until I run out of hair. And once I get to the end, I'm just going to simply try to wrap that twist underneath my bun. And then I'm going to use bobby pins that match the color of my daughter's hair to push them in place. So I have blonde bobby pins that I use for my younger daughter and then I have a light brown bobby pin that I use for this daughter. You wanna make sure that you match the bobby pins to the hair, otherwise you'll see them kind of poking out the side. I hope you enjoyed how to make a donut bun. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the circle here. And you can also watch more of our videos by clicking one of the two boxes below.